Welcome YouTubers, this is Pookie Digit here and today I'm so happy to share with you all for another Ijiban Kuji of Puella Maji Madoka Magica Magic Craft 3 which a lot of you uh, Madoka fans out there did this kind of lottery since the very first Magica Magic Craft uh, 2 and today Magic Craft 3 which this is already a lot considered if you also include the Ijiban Kuji Premium Magic Craft of those figures that you are not able to get because it's very hard to get it because during my previous video when I did those kinds I was not able to get a figure but I ended up getting the the other like A4 files or key trap like keychains like that and so forth so I was quite disappointed on that one but today for the Magic Crafts 3 I'm really satisfied well if you want to know why I'm so satisfied and why you can hear my tone like I'm so happy, well, here's a clip that I'm going to show to you all of my live reaction. Oh, <laughs> Yes! Wow, so there you have it that is my crazy live reaction and you can tell by the moment I got price D because Mami and Nagisa are my favorite characters from the series or from the rebellion movie it was just insane and you also do notice that I was actually holding or or how do I put this I was actually bringing that doll with me of Charlotte right here and it was very crazy and it was my very first time to try like bring something that you like an anime and then you go to a store oh you want to try this one because you're holding something that's relating to that anime or that anime movie and it's just ridiculous just to get deep price for the first one and which is the last ticket that I got from the box then the rest and so forth you can tell that I that I end up getting the J and then the G and then I was pretty surprised that I ended up getting two more as well which is none other than Sayaka and Kyoko it's just unbelievable like what kind of luck is this even though in fact there's no A price because the A the A price for the two slots were already taken away like before I did this one seems like the, the before person which I don't know who's that must have gotten A price by luck by just one try so very lucky you are person I, whoever you Whoever you are, you are really are that lucky. So, let's begin on wrapping this stuff right here. So let's go for the lowest price, which is none other than the J price, two, two J prices. And looking at the box itself, there's Madoka wearing the uh, outfit of 
Kyubei, which I hate Kyubei, I'm so sorry. Then the logo of Ichiban Kuji, and then the logo of the film of the Madoka, and then Magic Craft, right here, Magic Craft is part 3, and then another company that represents this one as well. Give that a closer zoom in. There we go, from Ban Presto. Simple design, but yet it's cute. Good for a tea set kind of theme. And here's the back side, and there's a total of six characters. So let's open this girl up. Hopefully, I will get either these two because one of the Instagram uh, people that took the photo, they were lucky they were able to get two, like just lucky. So hopefully, I don't get like what happened to my previous video that I was very disappointed. So I was able to trade it for Nagisa and Mommy in return. And I'm so sorry to damage the box, but don't worry, I'm keeping the box from my collection. So we're moving up a part right here. So one, two, three. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so happy! Yes, I got Nagisa! Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Very good. Seems like my doll, my shadow doll really gave me luck. So this is the first one. Oh, uh, let's put the box right here. See if she could display properly. Okay, moving on to our second box. So, one, two, three. Oh, it's Kyoko. And to be honest, when it comes to the six characters of their outfits, I believe that Sayaka once is more suit, actually, to be honest. Out of the whole characters there, Sayaka's outfit kind of suits, which I'll show you there since I, since I got the jackpot for price E. So looking at this, the, the rubber strap of Kyoko, very cute indeed, like the, the eye button, which is cool of Coraline, like the Magic Crafts Part 2. Then the back side, you can see from Van Presto 2016, made in China, as well as for Nagisa. I'm so happy to get her. Well, hopefully I could exchange Kyoko for Mami, or if someone's gonna sell Mami, then I will buy it like that. So, putting these two J prices aside for now. So happy to get her. So now, let's check on the G price, which is actually a cup set right here, and um, yep, sorry about that because that the, it's not very high, so yep. So this is the price G, and of course, looking at the top, there's a total of two sets, but since the baby one was already gone, so this is the only set left, so I didn't have any choice. And because it's a simple design comparing to the baby one, if you've seen the baby ones on the website, then you know what I mean. So looking at the design for Charlotte, you can see a simple design with some uh, ribbons right here and then the logo of uh, uh, the beast form of Charlotte and then some polka dots or pumpkins and apples I believe on the plate on the mini plate just you know for the base for the cup then here's the G price there's a total of two but I end up getting one G then this is the design uh, at the side uh, area right here and then Another side, and so far, nothing much. So let's bust her open with my scissors that I prepared earlier. So let's look at the cup itself. So, wow, this is how the size really looks like. It's really simple teacup. Like, if I ever get to cosplay mommy again, this is a good uh, kind of a cosplay, I believe. I could be wrong. So, this is how the actual size is. And let's check the comparison of the lemon tea and the cup. Yep, it really is that small. So now, let's put the cup down and check on the plate. And my goodness, look at the plate design. It's really marvelous. It makes me of the movie when the five girls were singing the song, like, Tika, mm? Something, something like that. I, I don't even know if it's Tika, mm. It's like, no, not me. It's like, you can see the apples, and then from pumpkin, apple and then raspberry and then the melon it's like when the girls were singing each of them were singing on these based on the fruit so marvelous whoever thought of this way is good oh and i realized at the back underneath the cup it says here magic craft 
But too bad they don't put part 3, I'll, but at least they put the credits there. You can see that closely. So, let's put Price G aside. And yes, we forgot the nose of Charlotte, the flowery nose. So, this is Charlotte right here. And the Charlotte's nose at the upside. So, let's put the G Price aside. Perfectly. So, now, let's start on, on F. Because I'm going like from below price to higher price. So, you can see on Kyoko right here. And let's put this to the side first. Sorry about that. So, looking at Kyoko right here. And you can see here the Puella Magic Madoka Magic Craft 3. And then this is the F price. And it's Sakui, uh, Sakura Kyoko. And then this is how it looks like from the inside. So, let's get her opened. And at the back side right here, you can see her witch form. And look at that. Give it that a closer look again. And there you go. You can see it's like made of a, like a cardboard kind, so it's easy to break like that. So I recommend like don't bring this outside. Definitely, even you do cosplay too, night because you may not know if your bag like kind of bend it so much and then it goes like bendy and then you can see some cracks. So it's not really good. So this is much better for display because it's like a uh, artwork, not a really official frame, but this is like a uh, drawing itself. You can see the simple design of Kyoko right here, even her name, Kyoko Sakura, and there's the apple because she loves apple. So let's take a look inside. And look at that, she looks gorgeous. Holding the teacup right here, and then her attire. And then you notice that her outfit is based on her witch form. And then you can see she's having that cube cube at the back side. And then on the left side right here, there's her witch form, and then her name, and then the teapot. Then it says here in English, let's have a tea party from the Puella Maji Madoka Magica, uh, Magica Magic Craft. Then there's another apple design, and look at the simple designs right here, really marvelously done. Well job indeed, so looking again from the front view, and then the back view. Back. There we go. Sorry if my phone's moving because I'm using some kind of a stand that is actually long and can bend. And then here is the credits right here. Whoever designed it, this lovely frame. There we go. Made in Japan. Next up is Sayaka. Miki Sayaka. You can see here Ichiban Kuji, E Price, with her Japanese name and English name, and the content inside. And then the back side here, her witch form, or I should say the mermaid form. So let's bust her open. So after removing her, this is her design in blue color with her name. And then with the look like two F's, but it's like a musical note. And then right here you can see the designs. And here's the back side, and then the credits from Ben Presto, made in Japan, from Magica Quartet, Aniplex. So let's see the content inside. So looking at her outfit, or should say the pajamas, I must say hers one is makes more sense. Even my sister got to admit that her attire is way like, it really makes more sense than the other for girls. We'll see about it once I check the price D. So looking at designs right here. And then the credits to the person who made this one. Mom's really well done. And then her witch form. And then her name. And then just the color difference. Then there's a teapot and then the... Let's have a tea again. Then from the Poela Magi Madoka Magica Magic Craft. There we go. So this one is prize E. Now finally the last prize, which is actually the first one that I just removed from the ticket, is prize D. And you can see it's Mami to Moe and Nagisa Moe. 
with you can see the theme color is kind of a, like bright yellow like that you can see that there's mommy and Nagisa Ijiban Kuji Magic Crafts 3 Prize D the content inside and then the back side you can see Charlotte the bee swarm form and Bebe the innocent cute doll form so let's get this open So let's see the content inside for this. And look at that, very beautiful indeed. And you can see Charlotte having that hoodie uh, towel thing or for the head. Like that, like so. And then you can see the outfit is like a nurse. It's like one of the weeks we call one the witch, like when they're having the battle. And the, the, the head's like a struggle thing. I hardly call that. but. If you can recall one of the uh, series, not Rebellion movie, but one of the series, the, the, those kinds did appear. If you can recall, I just can't remember the name or which episode. Then here's the teapot set right here. She can, she's just pouring some tea. Cute table uh, tea set right here. Like that design, but although her outfits are like, look like nurse to me, so it tends to uh, like ruin the image of mommy, to be honest. But in general, for the top part right here, it suits, but the lower part could use uh, like more improvement. Then going to Nagisa, looks so adorable, but like these ones are okay, but not these ones. Like it's weird, very weird. So like you easily can catch a cold. Like if it's winter or autumn, you better keep yourself warm. It's like best to like cover your shoulders, not like like this. So. It's kind of a weird outfit, but if you do it for cosplay, also could be weird. Don't know. Well, it doesn't mean I'm really going to cosplay her anyway. I'm still sticking to mommy. Then here's credit to the person who designed it right here. Sorry, it's kind of a little bit blurry. Then here's the design of the both of them. And here is the yellow theme for them of the Shadow Beast Farm and Bebe with their with their English name right here. And then so far so this is the prize D oh and I forgot to mention that yes their theme color I mean their theme of this tray right here of this artwork is actually is a cheese form because she uh, likes to eat cheese and she loves to eat cheese like okay she like is she is the theme of cheese and she likes to eat cheese that's what I mean I'm so sorry so right after you've seen all the six prizes, you thought I'm finished, but I am not because just to be honest with you all, out of those prizes, I actually really like two more prizes besides prize D, which is none other than the last prize and prize I. The prize I is actually like a tea bag, but besides of a tea bag, it also comes along with a postcard that based on the character the character's color like that and then the tea the tea bag is actually based on the flavor like example if Madoka is pink then you get strawberry and then if you choose Kyoko her theme color is red so that means it's apple then the one I got price I right here which is apricot and you can see the color theme is kind of a, like a orange or yellow or let's base on orange because I'm never get to try apricot to be honest so I'm not sure about the taste so let's open it up and before I open it up this is the warnings like that and then the due date is in two years so 2018 July 13 but I'm willing to try it because this is a good timing for autumn season to drink something warm not cold like what I'm drinking here but I'm willing to drink it just to let you all know the taste of this one if you haven't done the lottery so let's open it up so before I let you see the postcard, this is the one that comes along with the the bag, the Ziploc bag like that, the foil Ziploc bag. You can see here the Puella Magica Madoka right here with the trumpet of Nagisa and then her form, the doll form, then flavor tea, apricot, then here's the due date, then the back side, well ignore me, but you can see the reflection right here. Charlotte the Beast Farm is like saying, let's have tea party, and then you can see some tea right here, a, a cup of tea pouring something right here, it's not cheese, but it's actually a teacup, so let's take this open, you can take, you can see it right here, 
and let's get this open so wow look at that so I never knew there's like total of five so this really can lock can really like you can go have like try it and the small of it hmm, it's actually not bad so I'm going to keep this one right here and let's give this one a try well let's give myself a try so sorry because you guys can't uh, try because you're watching this video <laughs> I'm so sorry so before I'm going to try this one let me get the cup right here because I prepared it earlier and this is one of the cup that I actually mentioned on my previous video was when I was talking about the cushion stuff and so forth that I bought it uh, that I bought it along with this cup so I put it right here oh yes and I forgot to mention that it also has the type here of the magic crafts there we go so I was just really sorry if you kind of see it because my phone really doesn't like to go that that zoom in so here is the postcard that comes along with the tea bag, which or I should say with the price I. And look at it, I really love this postcard. And with their names, then from the series, the two characters that I adore so much. Then the postcard at the back side, whoops. Backs are right here. And then all the credits and from or I should say made in Japan. And it's like those kinds of photo, uh, kind of a material like this, so you can see the shiny reflection to it. So putting these guys aside, and I'll be right back to see what is the taste of this apricot. So right now, I cannot drink it because it's still hot, and I asked my sister, Nadnarf, to put the like boiled water and then pour it into the cup. So I cannot try or tell you what is the flavor of it. So while we wait for that, let's check on the last price right here and I'd be careful make sure I don't overdose everything right here because there's a dangerous cup which I highly suggest you when you do a preview don't do what I'm doing it's very dangerous so looking at the price right here the last price which is my very first time to get last price but end up buying it because it takes a miracle when you get last price because you have to take the whole ticket or buy how many remaining ticket in order to get your favorite last price so this is how it looks like from the front view right here of the cube wearing the uh, cute baby outfit. Then here's the back form and you can tell by the ones my plush right here, the transformation of Charlotte, the cape right here is the same. So let's take her out. So after removing her out right here and I'll be right back to display her more properly. So after removing it from the annoying plastic bag because I really don't want to consume time because it's already more than 20 minutes. So let's have a quick look on the tag right here. So you can see here this is the last prize. Of course from the Puella Maji Madoka Magica from Magicraft 3. And then the credits from the Ban Presto. Then this one is the Bebe version. You can see here the, the Japanese one that's Bebe. Then this is the outfit. Uh, of itself and then right here it says here last prize and look at that that's a really cute uh, tag right here then here's the back side and that that cube I still hate your cube so let's see the general of this plush doll so before I'm going to show you let's say it's almost the same size of my transformation Charlotte because the Charlotte of this size right here is 30 cm so it shows that let's say this was also 30 cm and this one's kind of unique because this is not just a doll whatsoever you can see from the zipper right here this one it's similar to one of the Ichiban Kuji Pokemon ones that can remove the the outfit like the Pikachu is there but then there's Pikachu wearing from the other Pokemon such as Charizard, uh, Gengar, so far like that if those of you did the kind of lottery so when I remove like this you will see Kyubei which is amazing and look at that you will see Kyubei out of it so instead of like a transformation this Kyubei I gotta admit it's very soft the material is really nice silky smooth you can use it for cosplay, for QB itself, or you just wear a QB, let the QB wear the baby form for Halloween. Then here's the tag right here, made in Japan. And then this is the last prize, and then it's a uh, prize in Japan only, made in China. And then the back side, you can see the circle pad on its back, which is actually the hard material. 
you can tell. And then the fluffy tail. Wow, that to me that the fluffy tail is very, very fluffy. So, to put QB back inside, it's gonna be a little bit of a hassle because it's my first time to do this. So, looking at the outfit of Baby first, this is how it looks like of the eyes, the cheeks, and then the hood. It's not separate, it's attached. Then here are its ears, the jacket, or I should say the whole body, then the arms right here, the dark uh, brown uh, arms, and then the long cape. And well printed on the Charlotte's face right here at the back. And then you can see underneath the red cloth, you can see that there's three more dots. I'm not sure what they're based off, cannot remember. But the cloth itself, it's very silky, very smooth. Not smooth, but back here smooth. Here is like more of a uh, smooth form. Here is like the rough one. Easy to get dirty. So let's put Kyuubi uh, back. And after putting her back, it's actually more easier comparing to the Charlotte uh, transformation doll. Like if you, those of you have that kind of Charlotte of the transformation turning to the beast uh, Charlotte warm form, it's much more complicated than this one because this one you just wear the outfit in a few minutes. Well, that doll that you see during my few years video preview and then I show it to you right now, it's very hard to transform that one. But this one is much more easier. Then I forgot to also uh, pin out is the one below right here of, of Baby. When she's sitting there, you can see her tiny feet. And it's so cute that they really focus on this as well. That's amazing because it seems like they also noticed that Q-Base tail it should be like a base for the baby to stand like this. So it will make more sense. And I find it very adorable. So it's a good thing that I bought it, although it's expensive. Alright, so let's try if this apricot tea is... Okay, the drink. So, give me one moment. And I can still smell the apricot. It smells so good. Hmm. Give me one moment, because it's also hard to tell. Like, you can't see my face right now. Hmm. It's okay, like not really like tasty, tasty kind of tea, but if you smell it like that, like if you're stressed out from work, like I am, like working at the airport a lot, like seven days, then I have one day off and so forth, like having this type kind of tea aroma, it's much like it gives you less stress, like it gives me, like it makes me feel calm right now just after drinking it. Like I'm not sure if I should finish the, the lemon tea just in order to finish this. I'm not so sure. Please help me. I'm so lost. So, in my conclusion, all the prizes that I got from prize D, E, F, G, and then two J's, and then including the two prizes, the last prize and prize I that I ended up buying it because I really liked that besides prize D, didn't have any choice, but these prices are just marvelously done, like really well done. And for those of you who are a huge fan of the Poela Majima Doka Magica, go give this yourself, like give this a try for the if you're first time doing this kind of a Jap uh, Japanese lottery or Ichiban Kuji for easier way for me to say to you all. For those of you who are beginners of this Ichiban Kuji and if you're new to this, give yourself a try. And if it's your favorite anime, go for it. Wish yourself good luck. If you get prize A, let me know in the comments below. Or if you get the last prize, you get all the all the tickets, it's up to you. Get, also comment down below and please let me know which of the following items from prize A to prize J were you able to get. Let me know as well. So, if you enjoyed this video guys, click the like, subscribe to my channel, and as always, see you all in the next anime preview.